Hi, and welcome here again in Joe's Kitchen. And uh, we're going to do a quick video. Hopefully it's quick. I'm sorry, some of the other ones are laboriously long. Anyhow, this is, uh, I've done my research. I'm kind of doing this for the first time. Not the first time I've made rubs before, but we're going to make a barbecue rub for chicken. And, uh, well, without further ado, we're going to get to it. Or, let's get to it. We're gonna eat, we're gonna eat, we're gonna eat, eat, eat and eat. We're gonna eat, eat and eat, we're gonna eat, eat, eat and eat. Welcome to Joe's Kitchen, yeah, we're gonna eat. That's right! We're gonna eat, eat, eat and eat. 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 Welcome to Joe's Kitchen, yeah. We're gonna eat. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so here we go. Uh, we got a lot of ingredients. Um, I kind of tweaked it the way I feel I want my barbecue rub. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to do a spatchcock chicken. I'm going to smoke it on the grill outside and uh, then um, I'm also going to, um, before I put it on the grill, I'm, I'm going to rub it with this hopefully delectable, um, if that's a word I think it is, uh, delicious and delectable rub, which I'm going to call the Hip Chick Barbecue Rub or Hip Chick Barbecue Rub. Hey, you guys can help me name it. Put it in the comments. By the way, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe and share for notifications. Click the little bell. Ding dong. All right, here we go. Um, so, basic barbecue rub is going to have the base, some basic ingredients that you'll see, especially with um, uh, like a poultry uh, rub. It's going to have some like sugar, brown sugar probably, um, and also some. Um, more robust uh, flavored seasonings such as your chili, your cumin, uh, perhaps a little cayenne, depending on how hot you want it. So here's what we're going to do. We're, we're, I've kind of got everything handwritten on here. I'm going to print up a formal recipe, copyright it, send it to the Library of Congress so nobody can copy it. But if you'd like to try it at home, you can, okay? <laughs> um, and I'll have it in the uh, description below, okay? Um, anyways, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna call out. I'm not gonna call out the quantities. That'll be in your description. But I'm gonna kind of wing it, basically. So um, I've been turned on to this. I'm gonna try it. Uh, it has brown coconut sugar. So it's kind of like brown sugar, but it's made of coconut, I guess. Uh, looking on the back, the um, nutritional values uh, pretty much none, you know, but it has the flavor, so I mean, there's no cholesterol, there's no sodium, 1% uh, one, 1 carbs, you know, so uh, it's not going to hurt your diet to have this, okay. We're going to couple that with some dark brown sugar. Um, you can use light brown sugar. Sometimes I have light brown sugar in the house, sometimes I have dark brown sugar in the house. Today it's dark brown sugar and brown coconut sugar. This is brown coconut sugar. It doesn't say light or dark, it's just brown. So it must be somewhere in between light and dark. You must have light brown, dark brown, and then brown. All right, and then one other item for a sweetener. I'm gonna try the monk fruit sweetener. I've tried a little bit of my coffee and everything. It's great. I mean, I think it's, it's a good uh, substitute for a sweetener. And so I'm gonna do a third of each of those and kind of get my sugar base. This on the back of the label, um, got zero fat, zero sodium, 3% uh, carbs. So again, it's not gonna break your diet whatsoever. It's actually a good replacement. There we go. <clears throat> so let's do that. I'll bring that camera down so you guys can see the magic being worked out here. All right. And I'm gonna try to talk as we go along. I may clip this here and there, but I'm going to basically put 
I'm just going to eyeball it, but I'm putting about a third a cup of each of these sweeteners. Of course, brown sugar is pretty clumpy. There we go. Going in with the coconut brown sugar. And about a third a cup of that. And then the monk fruit. About a third of a cup of that. Maybe a little less. All right, that's that. That's the sweet side of it. All right, we're gonna get a fork. Or my favorite little tiny whip. And that's so friggin' cool. That's what it looks like so far. All right, we're gonna mix up the, the sweet part of this. And I'm gonna mash that. And as I keep going along, I'm gonna mash that uh, brown sugar down. It's a bit on the clumpy side. Um, anyhow. There we go. We're going to break it all down eventually. I'm not going to bore you with that. We're going to get on to our other seasonings. All right. No seasonings complete. No rub is complete. Well, I guess our rub's complete without it, but we like to add a little Mrs. Salt and Mr. Pepper. Uh, anyhow, we're going to eyeball it again. If I can get this cap off. There it is. All right. We're using the Himalayan pink salt. And I'm going to add. I don't like a lot of sodium. My doctor says I don't need a lot of sodium, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of sodium in there. Just to give it a little flavor. And salt is, puts a lot into, um, uh, uh, it's a great ingredient for flavor, but you know, it's, it's not a great ingredient for heart and all that. So anyhow, we're gonna put some fresh cracked pepper, basically equal parts salt and black pepper, but I'm going to go a little heavier on the salt, I mean a little heavier on the pepper and lighter on the salt. And I can always add more to taste after I mix all this up. Alright, next item, we're going to, we always like to throw in a little bit of, where is it? Alright, onion powder and garlic powder. Equal parts. I'm going to do approximately, approximately a teaspoon of each. So I'm going to measure it the official way using the hand. There's my teaspoon of, let's see it there. All right, where is it? Okay, there it is. That's the onion powder. And now the garlic powder. Oh, okay. There we go. Roughly a teaspoon of each, folks, okay? Put the caps back on. Important to keep your seasoning sealed because they will go stale. Now, quick question. Quick question. How many of y'all, oops, let's it like that. How many of y'all have seasoning in your cupboards? Like that cupboard there. That's been there for you to even don't know how long. Okay. I'm guilty, okay? I mean, I, I make a recipe, I say, oh, okay, do I have that spice? Let me go get it. Uh, and I get it, I put it in the cupboard, and then I don't need that spice again for like a decade, maybe more. And there's a time where you go to the store, and you're like, I gotta go to the store because I gotta get this spice because I didn't see it in my cupboard. You get it, come back, and guess what? You've already got two or three in there. Smoked paprika, garlic powder, at least one or two more I have multiple in there, okay? But you know, garlic powder, you never have too much of it. You're gonna go through it. Anyhow, back to our recipe. All right, I hope I got it on there really good. Okay, now I've gotta bring it down a little further. Uh, gee, what was the last item we put in here? I don't know. Um, well, I do know. I put in chili powder. Or did I put smoked paprika? I put chili powder in. So now, we're gonna put smoked paprika. different color. Good. I wasn't sure if I put the other one in first, but anyhow. All right, so that's chili and smoked paprika. I'm going to put the same amount, one teaspoon approximately, of the cumin. And this is going to give it kind of a robust flavor. A 
right? Now we're going to put a little herbs, dry herbs. We got oregano and thyme. And we're going to put about a teaspoon of each of those. By now, my, my palm of my hand is this, this is an amazing bouquet. Okay. Now we're going to do some time. All right. And okay, I won't do that joke. I did it in another video about time. Anyhow, as much as the urge is there to, to say that time joke, I am not going to do it. Besides, I don't have enough time. <laughs> I have two bottles. I have two bottles of this too in my cupboard. Um, couldn't use this. Sorry. But cayenne, cayenne pepper. Can you see that? All right. Uh, we're just going to put about a half or a quarter of a teaspoon because uh, this is going to work for me and Patty. And Patty doesn't like things real hot. It's just going to give it a little, little more flavor. So we're going to mix that up. And I got to declump it, but you can see how that is. I gotta decide here, do I need to do anything different to it? I'm gonna get my fingers in there a little bit. I did wash them, by the way. Um, with soap and water, 20 seconds both sides, that kind of thing. And I'm um, breaking up those clumps of brown sugar is what I'm doing. Um, there's probably better ways of doing this, but this is, seems to be working out just fine. All right, it's getting a little bit more powdery. So now it's gonna be like a, a taste test. Lick my fingers probably, but you all don't want to see that. So we're going to use a spoon. I'm just get a little bit on the spoon, like a soap. Mmm. Well, it's a pretty good flavor. It definitely tastes like barbecue. That's a barbecue flavor. Maybe a tad too sweet. Definitely have the taste of the chili and all that. <clears throat> so I'm gonna add a little bit more. Um, garlic and onion powder. <clears throat> so we're gonna increase that by a half a teaspoon of each probably. Again, I'll have the formal recipe in the description. I know I'm going all over the place here, but I'm, I'm actually creating this for myself now. I mean, I've never done this recipe, particular recipe. I'm, I'm inventing it right before your eyes. So, anyways, we're mixing it up. And uh, there we go. And la la la. So, oh, we got dirty another spoon. a little bit. Anyhow, I'm glad you're watching this video today. It is going to be a shorter one than my most in my average video. Um, but you can find me here on YouTube. I've got food videos and music videos. Um, let me know how, what you think of them. celery salt or celery seeds, I'm going to go with a little poultry seasoning. Hold on. I've got at least four bottles in here. Uh, and this is poultry seasoning by Badia. And um, it's going to have Put some in there. I'm gonna do about a teaspoon. There we go. Okay, there we are. We're gonna stir. 
stir that up. Another poultry seasoning I'm gonna add in. So we're getting really crazy with this, alright? But you know what you got in your cupboard, and you know what how the will affect the pound. This one has a little stronger celery flavor to it, I believe. And uh Barbecue rub. Hip, hick, hick, chick, barbecue rub. Or should it be hip, chick, hip, chick, barbecue rub? Let me know. Hick or hip? All right. Anyways, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, enjoy food. We're gonna eat, we're gonna eat. We're gonna eat, 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 and eat. We're gonna eat, eat, and eat. We're gonna eat. And eat. Welcome to Joe's Kitchen, yeah, we're gonna eat. That's right.